Hello everyone! For today's video, we're going to make plant ketogenic keto pandesal. But before anything else, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for updates. Here are the ingredients. 1 and 1 fourth cups almond flour 5 tablespoons psyllium husk 2 teaspoons baking powder half teaspoon Himalayan pink salt 2 teaspoons apple cider vinegar 3 pieces large eggs 3 4 to 1 cup hot water and 1 tablespoon olive oil Watch out for the ingredients list before the video ends Now let's begin in a bowl, we will be mixing the dry ingredients starting with the almond flour. Next is the whole psyllium husk, baking powder, and the salt. Mix the dry ingredients all together. After mixing this, set this aside for the meantime. Let's prepare two bowls because we will be separating the egg whites from the yolks. This is my preferred method of doing this, but if you have other ways to separate the whites from the yolks, then go ahead. For this recipe, we will be only using the egg whites. Time to get the bowl of dry ingredients and we will be adding the egg whites here. Then add some apple cider vinegar and olive oil. And then we will start mixing. We will be adding hot water next. I prefer to do this by adding the hot water gradually and mixing in between. As you do this, please take note of the texture because we need to form a dough. And here's how our pandesal dough looks like. Now we will be laying out a baking mat and we will be placing the dough in the center. Shape it into one large ball. And then divide the large ball into 8 portions. Let's try our best to divide this equally. Next is we're going to shape each portion into smaller balls. Make sure your hands are moist with olive oil to avoid mess. Here they are! Now, place them on a baking tray. And they are now ready for the oven. Make sure oven has been preheated before baking at 180 degrees C. Set the timer at 50 minutes. After 50 minutes, lower down the temperature to 150 degrees C and set the timer at 10 minutes. 
after 10 minutes, take them out of the oven. Here are our lovely pandesal. And here's a closer look. Of course, we won't miss trying it out. This pandesal tastes so good, you can eat it as it is. Or you can even make it into a sandwich. Here, I will be adding a slice of cheese and a bacon strip and it's already a bacon cheese sandwich. Two thumbs up for this bread recipe. You should try it too. Here is the full ingredients list for plant ketogenic keto pandesal. Let me know once you try this out. Enjoy! For more low-carb recipes and hacks, like and follow me on Facebook. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching!